Hello everybody from the shores of Plenty to the Devil's Roar, welcome to Super Island Sweep. We got a fun contestant here today, fresh from the Sea of Thieves Discord, and our supermarket on Crescent Isle is open. With a chest of legends and so many riches to win, let's bring Healing Navid in. We'll start them with their fresh 3 minute time bank to be used during the shopper showdown later in the show. For now though, let's see if we can add some time onto that starting time bank with the speed shopper round. In this first round our contestant will have 20 seconds to find a specific item out in our store and bring it back in time. If he can do that, he'll add 30 seconds onto his final overall time bank and the value of the item is tripled towards today's total pot. Today's item is a crate of exquisite spices. And go! And they're off. Wait, crazy this is uh, found one. Ah, ha, ha. Whoa! I've got the crate of exquisite spices. <laughs> and in there, all right, eight seconds left to spare. After that speed shopper round, your time bank is brought up to three minutes and 30 seconds, and your pot sits at 5,700 gold. So before we jump into our next round, let's get to know Healing Navid. Healing, what would you like to share? Recently, we finally finished the Shores of Gold. That was an absolutely magnificent experience. Anybody that hasn't done the final tall tale of that should. It ends wonderfully. All right, next up, we'll be going on to our second round, the trivia round. In this round, the contestant is going to be asked five questions. Each correct answer adds a total of 10 seconds to their final time bank and 1,500 gold to today's pot. Question one. What yellow fruit do pirates like to eat? Uh, I'm gonna go with banana, final answer. Nice job! Question number two. If you are at Plunder Outpost and you go seven squares east and one square north, what outpost do you end up at? Ancient Spire. Amazing work, Healing Navid. Alright, question number three. Jonah at the Wild Treasure Store is rumored to be a a skeleton lord, B, a hunter of the kraken, C, handsome, or D, a gold hoarder. I know where the wild treasure store is. Yeah. I'm going to say that he is a hunter of the kraken, being close to Kraken's fall. Oh no, I'm so sorry, that's incorrect. Jonah's actually said to be a skeleton lord after supposedly killing Emmerich's wife at Daggertooth Outpost using skeleton magic. Yeah, we've all been there. Question number four. What island that is on the map and not including the Coral Fortress is most north? Not Thieves Haven, that's the one down in the south. That guy mm. over there. Oh, that's painful. Smuggler's Bay, yeah. Nice job. Your fifth and final question of this round is, the Ashen Skeleton Lord Chi goes by what title? <clears throat> The Cheating Chi. Oh, close, and I'm so sorry, but no, he actually would fit in at Pokemon Safari Zone because he goes by Warden Chi. Ah. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. You handled that trivia with such grace and added another 30 seconds to your time bank, bringing you to a 4 minute overall time bank and a pot that is at 10,200 gold. Our third time bank round is a challenge round in our supermarket dungeon. Turns out the night shift left high value chests all over the dungeon and it's up to our contestant to help clean it up. Our contestant will have until the vault closes to get three chests and one chest of ancient tributes on the outside of the vault, all on his own. If he can do so, he can add a total minute onto his final time bank plus the value of any chests he gets out and a bonus of 3000 gold to today's pot. Uh, do you need any time to strategize or are you good? Oh no, I'm ready for action. All right, all right, I'm gonna put it in, okay? Sounds great. Healing Navid has taken off, however, he's a bit scattered. Maybe he should have taken that time to strategize. He's climbing up high but struggling to find any medallions. Is he gonna solve this puzzle in time? Oh, phew, it looks like he found one. And look, the third magically appeared in the center structure. All right, a couple of minutes has passed and he is working on the combination. Oh, this combination is tricky. Good God, he pulled it off. Okay, I'm okay. About. He's heading out with the chest now. He's got three out plus the chest of ancient tributes, but now, oh my goodness, what a character. He's bringing more chests out, oh my goodness. Wow. You've done outstanding already today, Healing Navid. 
Heading to the Shopper Showdown, you now have a 5 minute total time bank, plus today's pot sits at 13,200 gold. Here's how our final round works, the Shopper Showdown. Healing Naveed will have 5 minutes to explore the course and get as many items as possible into the rowboat before the time runs out. Once the time's out, the items will be rung up. In order to win all of his items and the Chest of Legends, the items in the rowboat must total 50,000 gold. With a 13,200 gold lead already, you only need 36,800 gold to win that Chest of Legends. Before he takes a run out of the course, let's check out some of its features. Today's market features loop from a completed veil quest, a completed fortress, a completed shrine, the inside of a meg, a completed merchant sunken ship voyage, and any goodies found along the way. For the most part, the further items from the rowboat, the higher they are in value. Our red light item today includes this merchant five flag and a ruby breath of the sea. Let's see if our contestant today has an eye for good value. While the small items are on the right side of the beach, carrying chests are located on the left side, so he'll have to utilize those if he wants to get any value out of those smaller items. Alright everyone, with everything in place, 5 minutes on the clock, Healing Naveed, your time in the store starts now. Healing Naveed is flying out of the gate, headed straight to the shore to check out what small items might be in stock. Great strategy, you can see he's taking the small items out of line and putting them to the side, so these are the things that he just might come back to get later. His first item is going to be the crate of legendary voyages, which he brings back to the rowboat with a chest of the damned to follow. He's found the carrying chest, he fills it up with those previously pulled small items and races back to the boat. It's all about stronghold chest today. He races through the course grabbing some more small items and a few crates. He spots the esteemed manifest amongst the rubies. He's caught up moving a storage crate for a moment, and then an empty cannibal crate, both of which are worth zero gold and would not add to his total pot. That could be a disaster. He's headed towards the merchant flag, but takes the much lesser value chest of legendary voyages next to it. Only 15 seconds left. Is he gonna make it? Right at the buzzer! That was nice. a supermarket super island sweep. That was incredible. Healing Naveed, you catch your breath. We're gonna have our amazing cashiers add all this up, and when we come back from our commercial break, we'll see if the 50,000 gold pot has been reached. Welcome back to Super Island Sweep, everyone. Our contestant, Healing Naveed, just raced for his life through our market to see if he could get his pot up to 50,000 gold in order to win that chest of legends. Having missed both of today's red light items, it's gonna be close. However, I have the totals, and when it's all added up, Healing Naveed pulled off the sweep with a daily total of 54,200 and 11 gold. After winning, I wanted Healing Naveed to see what he missed out on. We're here on the dock, you did grab the ancient chest, uh, the ancient thing here, but also there's a grade 5 merchant flag. Shit. Demon. Uh, <laughs> So that's worth, uh, you know, Soul to Reapers, that's worth quite a pretty pin. Got I've the got life the life-changing changing chest of legends. With the chest of legends in hand, Healing Naveed's life has been changed, and next time, it could be your life that gets changed only on Super Island Sweet.